I've got an extremely corroded Bravo 3 bearing carrier that I need to install a new seal into. The old seal was incredibly tough to get out. <clears throat> and these seals can actually be pretty hard to install because they're so funny shaped. So, I'm going to try something new today. We obviously have a metal carrier that we don't have any more rubber pieces in. I've got the seal in my cooler here sitting on ice getting nice and cold and I think what we're gonna try to do here is heat this guy up leave this guy cold and see if they'll drop in there and see what she'll do I think I'll take one of these as well yeah Check it out here. Let's see what happens. Oh. Did not go in as easy as I hoped. Well, I still had to do a little wonking on it there with the old BFH, but uh, even the old race, <clears throat> it actually went down in quite a bit easier than I think it would have if it hadn't done that. So. Then we'll get a little bit of help from my, my friend Right Stuff here, and uh, we'll give this guy all the the shot it's got at sealing around that nasty edge. This is kind of a hail mary play. To, these bearing carriers are a little pricey, and uh, I actually couldn't find one right quick. So we're just going to try to fix this one and get back on the water for a little bit. And, I think over the uh, winter time, after boating season's over, I'm just gonna get a complete new Bravo 3 outdrive for this guy. Put a new lower on it and just be done. So. God, your tires are loud. Well, I think we actually have success with our mission. I've had this thing drooped all the way down and filled it back up with fluid and. She stayed dry, so put the props back on and take it to some water. There's prop number one installed. You can see the Bravo 3 uses counter rotating shafts with counter rotating props. And there we have the Bravo 3.